and I realized, you know, the other person's got to learn to listen. This is really important. They got to learn to sit there and let me get anger or I'll do it. I'll listen. I'll let them get angry. If they need to cuss at me, they can cuss at me. And they need to say, Brian, you're a fucking asshole. I can't believe you did that. And I'm not going to sit there and try to defend. I'm not going to try to make it right. I'm not going to try to make it wrong. I'm also not going to sit there and necessarily say you're right. I'm just going to listen. That's my job. And I'm going to be there. I might have this urge to get mad. I might have this urge to come up and say something, but nope, it's their turn to talk. And it's going to go on for however long it goes on, maybe five minutes or whatever. And they're going to share everything. This is what I feel. This is what's going on with me. This is what happened and so forth. And what it does, is it helps to get all that resentment out. Now, resentment is the death of relationships. Resentment is the destruction of relationships. It's all those little buried bits of anger that you push down. So in this video, I want to talk about a book, a specific book that could radically change your life with women and with your friends and actually relationships. It could change everything. This book had a huge, profound effect on my life. And I'm going to tell you a little story after I talk about it a little bit and how it actually changed my life with women unexpectedly. But I was reading a book called Radical Honesty, and I love the book. It's Brad Blanton's book, a little wild, a little crazy. He self-recorded, so the audio recordings are terrible. The book's all over the place because he wouldn't let anybody edit it. But there's a particular chapter in there. I don't love every chapter, but there's a chapter chapter uh, on anger. And I love that chapter. It is a fantastic chapter. It's life changing. And if you want to change your relationship to women, I highly recommend you check out this chapter. In this chapter, Brad talks about getting resentment out of your body, getting anger out of your body, getting just really being honest about everything and getting it out on the table and sharing it uh, with another person. He has a whole process in the book as, as to how to do that. And I highly recommend you learn to do this process because it will make you phenomenal attention. Now think about it for a minute. In the book, he talks about sitting down with somebody, not doing nonviolent communication, which is another style of communication, but doing radical honesty, where you express your emotions, your feelings, raw, uncensored to another person. You tell them everything, every little detail. If you cheated on them, you tell them, you know, he, he suggests you tell them, how many times you had sex, if you orgasm, all that stuff. Tell everything to this other person. This is what he talks about. And he breaks down how to do it in the book. And he talks about how the other person listens and receives it in. It's not about fixing the other person. It's not about coming to agreement. It's not about any of that. It's about letting out the buried resentment and the anger. Most of the time, after you've fully expressed it, all that anger and resentment lifts and you don't even have anything to fix. You kind of just let it all go because you were able to release it all talking to the other person. Now, this sounds pretty crazy. It sounds pretty wild. And you may not be able to start at a high level like that. You might have to start a little lower and step your way in a little bit at a time. But what happened for me when I did it, and I realized, you know, the other person's got to learn to listen. This is really important. They got to learn to sit there and let me get anger or I'll do it. I'll listen. I'll let them get angry. If they need to cuss at me, they can cuss at me. And they need to say, Brian, you're a fucking asshole. I can't believe you did that. And I'm not going to sit there and try to defend. I'm not going to try to make it right. I'm not going to try to make it wrong. I'm also not going to sit there and necessarily say you're right. I'm just going to listen. That's my job. And I'm going to be there. I might have this urge to get mad. I might have this urge to come up and say something, but nope, it's their turn to talk. And it's gonna go on for however long it goes on, maybe five minutes or whatever, and they're gonna share everything. This is what I feel. This is what's going on with me. This is what happened and so forth. And what it does, is it helps to get all that resentment out. Now, resentment is the death of relationships. Resentment is the destruction of relationships. It's all those little buried bits of anger that you push down. When you're moving along through life and you feel a little angry at somebody and you put it down because you're being nice, you wanna be sweet, then you push that down and you push another thing down, well, your body can only take so much of that before it starts to want to let it come back up like a volcano or explode or it starts to numb out or shut down on the other person. You ever notice that somebody you really cared about and loved when you first started dating them, after you've been dating them a while and all these resentments build up, they start to get a little heavy inside of you. You start to feel a little, oh, inside. And then pretty soon you don't want to see that person anymore. Is it because you really don't care? Is it, or is it because you're not being honest with that human being? You're not telling them what you feel. They're, and they're doing the same because they can't feel you being honest. And there's this lack of sharing back and forth, lack of trust that builds up. So as you get good at radical honesty, you stop doing that. 
And uh, pretty soon you stop doing it all together. You start sharing your truth right away. You don't hold stuff back. And that makes the relationships 10 times more powerful. Now, here's what happens. In the communication, you might be getting mad at the person. You can't believe you did this. And, and when you said this, I did this. And a, and a year ago, I was holding this back and I've been holding it down inside. And you start to share more and more. And this person is just listening and they're working on listening. You're working on expressing. You're not working on fixing anything. And as you let it out, you start to feel lighter and lighter. It's a form of letting go. It's a form of releasing. It's a form of the reeling process. It's just releasing all that repressed emotion. And as it gets lighter and lighter, you feel better and better. And that's what's amazing. Now, pretty soon, as you get lighter, you start to remember what you cared about, why you cared about this person. And you might suddenly go from anger, frustration, I'm mad at you for this. But you know what? I love it when you do X. I love it when you did Y. Matter of fact, I really appreciate you for, and that will naturally come out of you at some point. And when that does, that's powerful too. And this can often, if you can both be present for each other, go back and forth till you complete, this can often end in a bonding or a tightening of a relationship. But not only that, it makes you phenomenal with tension. It makes you powerful with tension. It makes you bolder in the world. When you realize the power of honesty and how much it makes people care about you when you do it in the moment and it gets rid of the weak people out of your life by the way that can't handle it and brings in real honest authentic people you're going to want to do it all the time you're going to run out and you're going to start being more honest right in the moment you're going to realize women get more attracted to you you're going to get rid of the time wasters you're starting to date a woman and she's a time waster a validation chaser and you just call her out right away hey, so you know what i feel you pulling away a lot lately what's going on i really like you i want to get to know you i don't want to waste time tell me what's up and they're like, uh, they don't know how to handle that. And women that can't handle a man that knows what he wants will go away. And the women that do, the women that are passionate and full of life will show up. And that's what's powerful. So I want you guys to read at least the chapter on anger in this book and understand this process. I highly recommend you start out, start out slow. Get with a friend that you don't have a ton of buried anger and do it back and forth with that person as a practice. Then build your way up. And this is how I did it and build me your way up even more until you can start being more and more honest and bold all the time. Also, add the embodiment practice of learning to open your heart. Like open your heart when you're being angry. Don't close down on people. Open, feel that person fully if you understand what that means. See, that's what we teach here. We teach you how to be embodied. And one of the most important things is being able to say no with your heart open, being able to set a boundary with your heart open, really allowing yourself to be angry, but loving at the same time. And I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but I promise you it's not. It makes you uber attractive. So if you're ready to really make a big shift in your life, try this practice out. Get out there and start doing the work. Start pushing those boundaries and start stepping into the tension. Also, it's just as important that you learn to listen. You learn to receive the other person and be present for them, not judging what they're saying, not making them wrong. And if you ha or if you are, you know, just watch yourself do it and learn from your own internal dialogue. You want to judge this person. You want to make them wrong. And just be present with that person in front of you. And if you can start to make this shift and you start learning to be more and more honest, even a little bit is going to go a long way, and more and more honest in the moment instead of letting stuff build up, your relationships are going to explode. They're going to get more powerful. Women are going to get attracted faster. You're going to pull women in faster. You're going, to be, you're going to be honest with somebody you just met in a radical way and they're going to be like, who the fuck is this guy? This guy's interesting because women love bold, confident men with purpose. And that's what so many people are missing today. They don't know how to speak their truth. And that's what this segment's all about, speaking your truth. So check out the book, Radical Honesty. It's particularly a chapter on anger. If you get the audio version, realize it's recorded terrible, just ignore that and get, get right into it. And, um, and start this practice, start it right away. Start digging in and notice its relationship to what I talk about is tension. And notice its relationship to feeling your body and getting into your body because all of this applies when you do this work and watch how it's gonna change. It changed the way I, I was on Tinder. Like I'm on Tinder flirting with girls and I started writing more bold, direct things. And it was really interesting to watch the reaction happen when I did that. It was powerful. So um, with that said, I hope you like this. I really wanna hear what you think of, particularly that chapter, the anger chapter. Put it in the comments below, your results in the comments below. Make sure you read the, uh, learn, learn a little bit from Brad before you get started. And uh, make sure to like the video if you haven't liked it. Make sure to subscribe and remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.